Um, I'm very pleased to have with us today the owner or head coach of Dalton United FC, uh, Coach Francisco Rodriguez. We know him affectionately as Kiko, I believe. Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> and sir. so, uh, Kiko, I just want to welcome you to uh, the center of the, the Set Pieces podcast. And want to ask, how are you doing right now? Uh, uh, first, thank you for having me, Andre. Um, it's always an honor talking to you. Uh, you're, oh. you're a great man, so I oh. appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too kind. You're too kind. <laughs> but <laughs> that's very nice of you to say. But, uh, you know, I, I'm glad we have a chance to talk because I know that we're, we're you know, going into week three uh, mm -hmm. of the premier division season in the UPSL. And uh, you're at the familiar place that you always are towards the top of the table. You know, you, you've been very successful since coming into the UPSL. This season is no different. Uh, you're right there now with Georgia Revolution and Kalanji Pro Profile. You're all tied. Uh, undefeated teams but um you know I, I know that from last season you know very close to winning the division do you do you feel like that there's some dissatisfaction about how that season ended and is that a motivation for the season that you're in now uh yeah definitely you know for the what you were saying about the table we really try not to look at that we just try to you know play one game at a time focus one game at a time obviously we want to be at the top but we just focus on one game at a time um, and yeah, last season uh, was was tough. That the that semifinal versus Kalonji, um, great great team. And um, you know, I thought we were gonna go to PKs, and and they got a last minute penalty, and you know they 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 took the win. Um, but it was a whole uh, you know different group of guys, and and, and now we kind of got some experience mixed with some with some younger guys. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited, and we're off to a good start. So that that's good. Yeah, yeah, it was a very good start now, and. Uh, I did want to ask you, it's interesting, too, that, you know, since you've been in, you you you, you did so well with Division One when you first came into UPSL, really dominated that division, came into the Premier, won the Premier Division in the first time asking. Have you seen a change in the competition um, since in the last two seasons? Have you seen it getting tougher and, and more competitive than you that you remember when you first came in? Um, well, I mean, obviously like more than the division one. Yes, of course. Um, and you know, you always have those, uh, strong teams that you're always looking for to play. Um, and some of these uh, other teams have also stepped it up. So, uh, the competition is, is great and, and we enjoy playing, uh, week through week. Right. And how does the start of the season compare to the start of last season? Do you feel like you have a little bit more momentum going into this season now? Um, I think so. We, um, you know, like I said earlier, we, we have the hunger from, from last season that, uh, you know, we weren't satisfied with, with losing in the semifinal. And, you know, this year we, you know, we, like always, our goal is always to win it. So um, we're just working hard to do just that. Okay, good, good deal. Good deal. So, you know, the main point of this podcast and in this episode, this segment here is we're talking about Fountain City. Mm -hmm. uh, you're facing them uh, this coming weekend. Uh, it's a game that we're going to have on ASMG. So the, the fans will be able to watch that online. Uh, hopefully we have a good turnout there at the stadium as well. Yes, sir. But, you know, Fountain City is a new team. That they're, they're in a spot where you were a few seasons ago, first coming into the Premier from Division I. Uh, they are in as a result of uh, reorganization. So they didn't mm -hmm. win Division I, but because we expanded Premier and we had – a couple of teams drop out. They earned the right to come on up. They're a very well organized team, but you know, it, it, there's a lot of unknowns with them. I'm sure, uh, from your point of view, do you find it difficult to prepare for a team like that when you when you haven't really played them competitively yet? Yeah, um, they've they've made a name for themselves, um, um, and we were actually trying to get a a, a pre a scrimmage um, yeah. with them, but it just it just didn't work out. Uh, we wanted to see how how they were then. Um, it didn't work out, which is fine. But um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit uh, hard to prepare. Uh, just try to see past games and, and try to scout them. But uh, they look like a solid team, so I'm I'm excited for this upcoming match this weekend for sure. Good deal. Yeah, it'll it'll be a, a real entertaining one. They, they've had a decent result here in the past mm -hmm. week with a draw, and um, you know I think that they're they're looking to try to make a mark in this season too. So. I'm sure they're they're up for the game <laughs> with you guys, yes, so sir. it should be very entertaining. But uh, from from your point of view, I mean, when you look at Dalton United and you look at the future, you know, we you, you know what you're dealing with now. But are there any plans to uh, expand as a as a club in the future, or do you have any other plans 
um, for Dalton United going forward? Yes, sir. Um, well, I think we've grown a lot since we first started, uh, you know, before the UPSL, um, just going to these amateur tournaments. So just looking back at uh, how much we've already grown. And of course, there's plans to, you know, continue with the UPSL for now and, uh, you know, maybe make a jump and uh, try to go to another uh, another league with with different competitions. So um, but we got the we got a mix right now. You know, the older guys with the younger guys just trying to get the the younger guys um, up to the level and gain some experience from our, our older guys that have been with us since since the very beginning. So, yeah, there's there's a future for, for Don United for sure. Great, great. I, I tell you what, it, it, it's it's a plus to have you guys in in the conference. I'm the conference manager, and I've seen how the team has really grown even since coming in as a Division One team. And you've established yourself very well. You represent it well when you're in a national champion or uh, national playoffs. <laughs> and I'm sure that you want to get back there to improve oh. upon that result. <laughs> for yeah, sure. yeah, definitely. That loss versus uh, uh, Tennessee Temple that 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 still hurts to this day. It um, still hurts me, Kiko, man. I, you, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, we, we had a crew there and, you know, the weather didn't cooperate yes, and, yes. and it was a weird way that they, you know, continued the game. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, uh, it worked against us. And, you know, when, when you're out in the national playoffs um, and, and playing and competing, you're representing the, the Georgia Conference. And, of course, everybody's behind you guys. So, yes, you know, if you get back there, you'll still have us behind you and, and supporting you. So uh, I appreciate want to thank that. you for that. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Well, I, I tell you what, um, you know, I'm going to let you go now. I, I will say that I would like to have maybe uh, in the future uh, on future episodes, we'll maybe get one of your players to come in and oh, answer some questions. I'm sure there's some of the, the supporters from Dalton United would love to learn a little bit more about some of the players, maybe other staff members. So we'll, we'll plan yeah. that out with you if, you if you don't mind that. Absolutely. We have some guys that are, are great behind camera, so they, they oh, would love that. <laughs> oh, excellent. Now, hey, I'm going to take you up on that. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Coach Kiko, I appreciate the time you've taken, and we look forward to seeing you on the weekend against Fountain City. Yes, sir. See you, Andre. See you on Saturday. All right. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.